In this video, we will discuss the activation and differentiation of CD8 positive T cells. We will discuss the stage of antigen recognition, we will discuss the stage of activation, we will discuss clonal expansion as well as the differentiation. We will also discuss what are the functions of the effector CD8 positive T cells. I hope that this video is going to help you to understand the activation and the differentiation of T cells, especially CD8 positive T cells in more detail. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, please hit the like button. In this video, we are going to discuss the activation and the differentiation of CD8 positive T cells. If you haven't seen my previous video on CD4 positive T cell activation and differentiation, I highly recommend you to watch that particular video. In this video, we are only going to discuss CD8 positive T cell activation and T cell differentiation. So to explain the differentiation as well as the activation of CD8 positive T cell, first I'm going to show you how antigens, they are presented to the naive CD8 positive T cells. Here, I'm designing antigen presenting cell. It's named antigen presenting cell because it presents the part of the pathogenic organism to various cell types. It's also known as APC, in short antigen presenting cell. And now, what this antigen presenting cell is going to do is going to express that pink colored antigenic molecule to CD8 positive naive T cell. So in blue, what you're seeing is the CD8 positive naive T cell. And this cell will recognize this particular antigenic molecule when it is expressed by the MSC molecules. So after detecting the antigenic molecule, you will have this particular T cell, which is CD8 positive naive T cell in this case will undergo the differentiation process, activation and differentiation process. So this is the first signal that this particular cell will get and this stage is known as antigen presentation or you can also call it as antigen recognition. In this stage you'll have the expression of IL-2 and the IL-2 particular cytokine is important in case of the activation and differentiation of T cell will be recognized by IL-2 receptor which is present on CD8 positive T cell. After this interaction, the stage of clonal expansion will occur. Let me write it down which is clonal expansion. So right now what I'm doing is designing the receptors, designing these, these cells so that you can, you can uh, schematically see the whole mechanism. So this is the second stage where you have clonal expansion of T cells. The function of effector CD8 positive T cell is to kill the infected cell. So let me write it down. The function is the killing of the infected. It can be virus infected, it can be bacteria infected, infected T cell, plus it can also activate the macrophages. The function of memory CD8 positive T cell is to keep the memory of that particular pathogen so that if it enters again, it can reactivate quickly. Now, this particular stage that I'm showing in yellow dotted line will occur in peripheral tissues and the first stage, which is antigen presentation stage, will occur in lymphoid organs. So this is the complete process of T cell activation, specifically CD8 positive T cells. Let's discuss these steps. Again, let's summarize these steps. First step, as I already mentioned to you that antigen presentation or recognition is the step one in this case. After that, the signal will be detected by T cells and it's gonna activate and differentiate. Stage one, step one is the antigen recognition. Step two is the activation obviously after that you will have the stage of clonal expansion you'll have the stage of differentiation after that these differentiated cells they're going to cause the effector functions 
for example, infected T cells are going to kill the cells that are infected, and the memory T cells, they're going to have that particular memory stored in their system so that they can quickly respond if the pathogenic organism tries to again infect our body. So I hope now the whole process of T cell activation, specifically CD8 positive T cell activation is clear to you. I hope that this video was helpful for you to understand the T cell activation and differentiation, especially the CD8 positive T cell activation and differentiation. In this video, we have discussed the stage of antigen recognition, we have discussed the stage of activation, clonal expansion, as well as the differentiation. We have also discussed the role of interleukin 2. Thank you for watching the video. If you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support.